that thing down and get ready for school. Uh, you need to stop talking when we're not on the show, man. We're supposed to surprise them, man. You have me pre-show, on the show, without the show. What's up, man? Man, it's just the way we do it sometimes. You know, it is a Monday morning. You got to shake the tears from your eyes. You know what you did this weekend. Get your ass up. It's time for morning coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, get ready. We got morning coffee. We are in the month of May, as if you didn't know it. But we got good news, bad news, and the other what, Mario? The other shit. And what? How do you spell that? Uh, floods. <laughs> Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. Mississippi. All the crazy shit. Everybody, you know how we do this type of morning coffee. The show that comes to you live and unscripted. Now we say, get yourself up. That's right. Coming to you live from the Chocolate Milky Way. Hey, we got news from all over the world, but you know how we do it. Get yourself together. Come on, scratch those important parts. Get around the morning table like we do. It's time to talk about all the news, everybody. Hey, check it out, you guys. You know, I know you're disappointed because Rachel's not going to be here today. Rachel Oleg is working on a web series, so that was the hot pick that was supposed to come on the show. Go get them. Go get them, Rachel. She's in Chi-Town right now. Couldn't make it back in time, but in the meantime, I'm going to give you a little Lily doll, some Christian, and uh, let me say Sakata for those hot picks. And we got sports as if you didn't know. Can you rescue the Bulls, Mario? Oh, yeah, we can rescue the Bulls. Hey, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. I need something better. Okay, let me switch it over to this way. Can Westbrook lead the Mavericks to the promised land, or are we dreaming right now? Hey, Durant will lead them, too. It'll be hand in hand as we tiptoe through the tulips. Oh, no, no. Tiny Tim, you're going back, aren't you? I don't know. Well, we're going to have to see. You know what we say, everybody. Come on now. Get your stuff together. Whatever you're having this morning, we want you to get that fresh fruit, get that yogurt, get your coffee, your tea, get those unfiltered camels, those illegal Cubans. <laughs> Whatever you're sipping on, whatever you're smoking on, baby, come on and do it with us. Hey, check it out, you guys. We got world events, as if you didn't know. In the meantime, we have a secret special message coming in from the lap dancer up there in Port Townsend, Washington. Mario, I can't tell a lie. I can't admit it. Can you? Well, the g and Bureau Chief, Mac McAllister, up there in Port Townsend. Hey, everybody's in the chat room today. That live and interactive. Oh, yeah, man. And here's the other thing. Oh, let me tell you something. The show by Elizabeth Hahn last week is getting rave reviews for really? obvious reasons. Why do you think so, Mark? All that TNA. We had the power stripper on last week, you guys. Hey, hey, come on now. Raise your hands. Let's do what we came to do. B, 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 come on. Hey, be cool. You know what? I'm inviting Rachel back like... Um, uh, well, let me say this. Rachel is going to be coming again, but in spirit, probably. Uh, Man, because she was so good in person. Well, we're talking about Elizabeth. See, I'm talking about Rachel who can't be here today. So I'm my bad on this one. Rachel is not here today. She's in a web series project in Chicago. Yeah, in, in the Windy City. And just thinking that money is more important than us. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess. All right. But, you know, while you're out there, make sure you have a Chicago dog. You know, I always mention the wonderful cuisine here at Paxter. We, we go at your stomach. We always say the, the way to a man's heart is below the breast line. <laughs> so we say we want you, while you're in Chicago, have a Chicago dog. Have a deep dish pizza for us. All right. Well, welcome, everybody, to Morning Coffee. You know, it's, mo it's Monday. And if you didn't know that, you're probably late for work again. Mm. That's right. It's Monday, May 23rd, 2011. And again, you know, our slogan of the week this week is so much like the slogan of the week last week. And what is that, man? Maybe because I forgot to change the slogan of the week. Oh, well, that's okay. It's from Helen Keller. And the slogan is, it is a terrible thing to see and yet have no vision. Mm. It is a terrible, terrible thing to see and yet have no vision. Good one. All right. So we got to get, you know, wax poetic for you. There you go. As we do here at Morning Coffee. Because, you know, we cover the good news, the bad news, and the other shit. Right. Not necessarily in that order. Yes. Right, Vic? And today is one of those days we have that. A lot of, you know, well, some bad news, as we say. It's not in that order. But we're going to be talking a little bit about the flooding going on uh, along the Mississippi, you guys. Also, Joplin, Missouri. You had to have seen it. You know, tornadoes. What is with the tornado action? Man. Okay, I mean, natural disasters are the thing. You know, uh, you know, like they say, people are reading. It's got you, I know you got your Bible out. <laughs> they are in Joplin. 
You know, I don't know if you all saw it. There was a video that they've been showing around. It's a viral video. When the hurric- when the tornado hit, some people climbed inside of a, like a freezer and uh, they're fil- well, somebody kept the phone on. And you could hear even through the phone really? as everything outside them gets torn away. Right. And all you could hear was, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm not laughing at I you I mean, guys. I'm just saying. I'm not laughing. It's amazing, I'm you know. Laughing. And you know what? What? They came through. That's all the good news they that came he, through. He, so, that's all that's it's important, man. But it's amazing you know, the human stories that come out of these kinds of situations. So we have to at least acknowledge once again right. for another week, you know, natural disasters going on, tornadoes, floods, flooding in Europe too. Yeah. So man, all that kind of stuff. Hey, we also got some funny videos for you this week. So mm-hmm. so we'll be watching some of those. Okay. Uh, a wonderful marriage proposal. Oh, okay. What do you mean you don't give a... Yeah, yeah. Act interested, people. <laughs> right. It's a wonderful marriage proposal. I myself was brought to near tears. You, you're lying. By this wonderful... Yes, this you're wonderful... Lying. Yes. He's lying. This is a great... A, a guy takes his bride-to-be to a movie, and has he hasn't worked out with the theater to show a video after the opening credits or whatever. Oh, how'd he pull that off? I don't know how he did. He must have... But it's, it is. It's, it'll get you. Oh, okay. Okay, then we're going to have a cat rapping... I know you love the kitty cat videos, the ones with real animals and not the strippers. Uh, Okay. (laughs) The kitty cat. Uh, So we're going to have some of that. And so, uh, and also some other, you know, interesting, fun kinds of things. I I know I'm going to have to brighten up some of this bad news today. Oh, and maybe we should also take another look at the Bald Eagle live nest cam. I know how much you love the Bald Eagle live nest cam. Nothing like the old... Yeah. Bald ego. No, no, man. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. So what about you? Because, you know, there has been sports. It's Ladies, you don't have that much longer to go. Your men will soon be yours again. <laughs> no, it won't make They'll any They'll be difference. yours again. No, it won't make any difference, man. What, what, look, <laughs> we're going to talk about what everybody wants to see, an extended series between the Bulls, of course, and the Heat. And it doesn't look good because they played well, but still not well enough to be better than the Heat. And then we're going to also talk about whether West, Westbrook is getting undue attention because, you know, they think he's the difference maker and in, in going up against the Mavs. And then we could talk about the hockey, but since I'm the only one that's going to talk about it, I'll leave it I'll to I'll talk myself. about sure hockey. You will. No, no, you ain't going to talk about it. I will. And we'll touch on Bernard Hopkins to say, how do you compare his accomplishment as the oldest champion against George Foreman? We'll talk about that as well. A light touch. Yeah. A slow hand. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get in some hot picks and try to see if we can pump up the volume. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, it's time for us to have our special moment then. Right. It's time for happy time. Right, here we go. Not unlike the moment you had in the shower this morning. This is wrong. Happy time again. This is wrong. That's right. We know how much. Oh, I'm glad that happened. I'm, Everybody I'm, get I'm the glad. bobbing. Right. Come on, bob your head, you know. <laughs> is this the new way of doing happy time? It's the happy time. Oh, it's I just like a few it. minutes to seduce your mind. Okay. That's what we say. It's morning coffee, and it's the way we do it. Welcome, everybody, to Foreplay. This is the 411 about morning coffee because we say if we're going to be spending this kind of time together, we're going to definitely have to know each other a little better. First of all, this ship here that we're riding, this is the ship that I designed. That's right. I built it scrap by scrap, piece by piece from love and bubble gum. That's right. And I know this ship like the back of my hand. But sometimes early in the morning when we attempt to raise the reflector shields, the reactors heat up, and I yell to Vic, no, Captain, she'll blow, she'll blow. Mm. But he gets the wrong idea all the time. Yeah. <laughs> We've never that's seen wrong. Get the that's shields wrong. up. But that's okay. That's wrong. Because even though I may have designed this ship, I am the captain, but my partner in crime over there, he is the co-captain. He is the man that the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. That's right, rumored to have the best elbow in the business. Ladies and gentlemen, my partner in crime, the tall, dark, and handsome one, Mr. Victor Allen, everybody! And I'm going to tell you guys the truth. Nobody has ever, 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 ever <laughs> gave the description and agreed with. I have not gotten one comment, not one reply. It's the only thing that lives in his they, mind. They write in about your but, elbow. But there's one truth. There's one truth. Your true color is at the bottom of your elbow, right there at the tip. That's right, listen to him. And Victor is the reason why we say, what is soul? I don't know. Soul is rusty ankles and ashy kneecaps. Thank you. Thank you. What is That's soul? Right. Soul color. is a ham hock in your cornflakes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Love you, America. What is Love soul? World. Soul is a joint rolled in toilet paper. Okay. That's right. Well, together, together, we are the 
Team, there are no cameramen, there are no audio or sound technicians. There is no cleanup crew. While I am the captain, Victor is the co-captain, and together we are in control of that virtual experience that we call Mood Control. And our slogan is program, deprogram, and reprogram. That's right. Two video switchers, seven PC systems, six cams, all live programming, on-air interactive chat. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we are multitasking on steroids. Hey, while I'm over here doing this, he's over there doing that. What, and all the time we're doing? on air with you. They don't see me doing anything. I'm well, just standing here. Let's just say both hands in his pockets and he's not counting change. <laughs> That's right. That's all right. It could be. That's right. It's fun in the studio. If only, if only you could be here. I'm going to give my famous <laughs> quote. I know you guys have asked me to say this. I am telling you the truth. I'm not into porn. I'm into porn. Porn, no. There you go. That's right. Know your porn. That's right. That's right. Go to Pornhub. Get the premium membership. Ladies and gentlemen, we are self-trained and self-educated. We have never worked in the quote-unquote industry. We are outsiders. And what is this? (laughs) 90 minutes of unscripted fun available immediately on demand. Full length. If you haven't had enough of morning coffee, if you haven't had enough of the dynamic duo, you can watch it again in full length right there in that player. But I'll be cutting it into 15-minute bite-sized pieces and syndicating it throughout the world. Why? Because we've run this bitch. (laughs) And we can. That's right. We are radically transparent and part of the long tail. But where are we coming from? Los Angeles, California. Mood Control Broadcast Headquarters of Pac Stereo TV. Home of virtual reality. Cybernetic sensuality. Something that your mind can feel, but ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it real? Or are we inside your mind? Deep in a cybernetic space and time, seek created in your vine. We are merely a fantasy. But the wind, 10 a.m., more or less, Monday through Wednesdays. Unscheduled broadcasts occur all the time. Check out our TV guide, packstereo.tv slash TV guide. We did it that way because we wanted to make it easy for you. <laughs> sure you did. We did. <laughs> but the why, the why is because Vic, as still, they run up to me on the street, grab me in the tushy, and they say, hey, big boy. Why do you do the things you do? And I say, when men over 6'5 grab me in the tushy, it's a little intimidating. Dude, you should, <laughs> dude what are you But I say, let go, let go. That, dude, you're <laughs> and wrong. And after that, I tell them, we do this because we love living the dream and doing the impossible. We do this because we know that personal internet television is a revolution. We do this because you are going to follow us and have your own internet television broadcasting that bedroom porn to America. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because we are the new new and we are you. I'm not endorsing anything he said in the last minute and a half. You, you came anew with a different monologue on this one. Now, I'm going to give you props on that, though. I'm going to give you props. You, you, you surprised me, I'm bro. trying to loose, loosen it up. Yeah, you, you went there, man. That's okay. You know, and uh, I don't know. Should I get, well, here's the thing. I'm going to do it this way today because we have a guest in the studio today, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we don't know how much he's going to adapt because, you know, these things can be stressful. As you know, as a regular here at Paxtel, you know that when they come to the studio, they have no idea what they've wandered into. <laughs> what the is this shit? Where the hell? So, I want you to know, one of my lifelong friends and buddies is here getting his own glimpse of our our crime syndicate. Ladies and gentlemen, David Vavasor over there in the corner. Those of you who know his name. <laughs> He's hiding. You may see his face. Depends. Right. He may dance the forbidden dance for us. Oh, that's cold. What's he, you know, we have to get everybody in the mood. But even Dave needs to be cheered up. And so you know how I like to do it, Vic. I think I'm going to give you a moment. I hate A I happy hate moment this. again before hate, we get into the good news and I the bad news. I hate this. I hate this. Everybody's time. Happy time. Come on.